CBS 2 is always investigating. Tonight, a North Suburban Waukegan woman says her disabled sister was neglected at a nursing home and rehab home. CBS 2's Megan Hickey digs into the home's history of similar allegations and the citations it's received. A warning to you at home, some of the photos are unsettling. After a brain aneurysm and stroke in 2014, doctors gave Justerina Caffey very low odds of surviving. I feel like the fact that she even made it through, God wanted her to live. But her sister, Cora Caffey, tells me the road to recovery has been much harder than they thought. Justerina has been staying here. It's registered with the state as Elevate Care Waukegan. But the name change is so new that the signage and the website still say Glen Lake Terrace. Kathy says her last visit about 10 days ago made her sick to her stomach. Literally, I jumped because it scared me so bad. She's talking about her sister's feet, which had apparently been covered with socks for an extended period of time without being bathed. They just put socks on her and left her be. Kathy says the staff couldn't give her any answers. I tracked down Kathy's nurse over the phone, and she told me that now that they know about the problem, they're working on a medical plan to correct it. But Kathy argues that it never should have gotten this bad without somebody noticing. Well, she needs to be treated like she's a human being. What's worse, her sister's not the first patient to complain. Inspection records under both facility names show a history of deficiency citations issued by the Illinois Department of Public Health or U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. A 2018 inspection report shows the facility was cited for personal hygiene care issues. In November, a report said staff failed to prevent neglect of a resident left sitting up in a wheelchair for 10 hours and failed to report an allegation of neglect in a time manner. That's unacceptable whether it be my sister or anybody else's family member. I went to the facility's administrator for answers, showed him Kathy's photos and explained the concerns, but was told the facility had no comment and was asked to leave the property immediately. Kathy says she's looking into moving her sister to another nursing home, but right now she can't afford the cost to transport her. In Waukegan, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 News.